Hey, what is going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. We got a quick tutorial today just because I want to explore a really important concept and that is how to make your title stand out, how to place them correctly, and how to do a very nice animation to really just draw attention to them and not having to do you know, standard single line titles or anything boring. I really want to take a deeper look into how to do title placement and how to make the animation stand out. So I think this tutorial definitely needs to be by itself, even though it's such a basic concept compared to, I think, a lot of my other videos where we explore a lot of concepts in them. This one, I just want to talk about title placement and some great animation to, to take your titles to the next level using very simple concepts. So I want to give a quick thank you to Video High for sponsoring this video. All these previews you see on the screen here are some of my favorite typography templates go ahead and check out the links in the description for my top five favorite ones if you're in a time crunch or if you need some inspiration on how to place text let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do so here we are we have a new composition here and the first things first I want to talk about typefaces so one of my favorite typefaces is Gotham which is basically still an overused typeface and and in the typeface Gotham there are several different fonts so you can see you have thin light bold black and so on and the difference between a typeface and a font, if I'll just go ahead and explain it real quick, a typeface is basically the family. So Gotham is the typeface. And all these other variations here, like thin, extra light, light, these are the fonts. So it's good to have a typeface that has a bunch of fonts inside of it. Now, you don't have to do it. One of my favorite typefaces is Beep As New, which we'll take a look at some of these typefaces a little bit later. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to use Gotham Bold. I'm only using one font in this entire video. So let's just say we have our text. So we come here, we type it out, and we just put it out on one straight line. Well, you know what? There's not much that we can do here. We can't really make any of the titles stand out. You can come in here and change the variation of a title by selecting it and going to like maybe light. You're like, okay, well, you can do that. That's interesting, but I don't know the placement of this is really good at all. It's just a standard title, and anyone can do this. I think to be a good creator, you need to do things that other people do not, and being able to scatter the placement allows your work to stand out because not, not everyone's going to be able to recreate that. They're not going to do that. So what we're going to do, instead of doing a single line text, we're going to create each of these words individually. So we have each of our titles on its own individual layer over here in the timeline looking good. So the first thing I like to do when trying to make your text stand out is what does each word mean? So we have create bold titles. Bold can be probably the biggest word on here since bold means to make something bigger, right? And of course, I'm just using the bold font, which has nothing to apply to this tutorial. It's just a good typeface choice. And we'll show you, you can, only, you can do this successfully with one font. So what we can do with bold is make bold a little bit bigger. So wow, now that's nice and big, right? So we maybe we'll place it over here for now. So then the next thing I like to look at, what are some of the least important words? Well, obviously, I think each word here is important because there's only three words. But if I had to choose one, it would be create because I want to put emphasis on bold titles. So the objective here is to create as much contrast as possible between the sizes. So we can take the word create, make this a little bit smaller. And what I want to do is I want to find a nice place to place this, right? So what I want to do is kind of keep create the same size as the B and O as far as length goes, right? So you can see that the E touches the end of the O and the C is at the beginning of the B. And boom, there's some nice contrast between these two words. Now, of course, it's not in the same order, but with animation, we can make it read in any way that we want. So now we have the last word, which is titles. And I don't want to leave it here because look at this. So we don't have that much contrast here. So with titles, we can make this word even bigger. And perhaps just to have some consistency here, I'll make sure that this is the same size as bold. So titles is the same size as bold. And I'm going to make sure that this word aligns with the L in bold. And it's at the same height as create. So now we have our title and we have some parent contrast. And instead of doing one single line, we have the scatter here. Now, of course, if you're looking at this and you didn't watch the video, you have no idea how to read this. It looks like you would read it bold create titles. And as animators, it's our job to make sure that if we do something that's a little bit more artistic and something that stands out, that we have it readable in the way that it needs to be read. So what we can do here is start animating this and making sure that this reads the way that we want it to read. So we're going to look at some uh, animation techniques and what we can do to make this work out. So let's go to the create first. This is the first word that we want to animate. So what we can do is open up this text layer, go into the animate tab over here, and you can add a variety of parameters here. I'm going to show you really quick what we can do. So maybe here we'll add a position and also we'll add uh, opacity. Okay. 
So what we can do is just you know offset the position by a little bit and lower the opacity to 100%. Go to the range selector, add a keyframe for start percentage, move forward to maybe a second, and set it to 100%. And now you get something like that. And what's cool, maybe we can offset the position over here where the T's at, so we can give this a little bit more, you know, technique. So maybe it starts where the titles used to be, and we'll zoom out here. Boom, create. So we have a little bit of cool animation kind of being custom animated to where we want it to be. And make the last keyframe an easy, easy keyframe by hitting F9 on your keyboard. So boom, create. And bold's the next word. So I really want this to be impactful. So sometimes when words have meaning, right? So bold definitely has meaning, true meaning that you can give through animation. Uh, not saying that you can't do that for create, which you clearly can, but bold, we can really put an impact on that. So I think a scale animation is gonna be most effective with bold. We want bold to come in right after create. So let's open up the bold, go to animate, and we'll add scale. We'll also probably add opacity as well. We'll see how that works out. So with scale, let's go ahead and bring this down to 0%. Go right to the range selector right here right away. Mod keyframe for start percentage and we'll move forward and set it to 100%. So we kind of just see what we're doing. So boom, that comes on just like that. Interesting. So I'm co totally cool with the scale here. Didn't need the opacity. And we could put more emphasis on the word bold. So it kind of comes on just like that. But we want to put more emphasis. So let's go ahead and hit S on keyboard for, just for scale. So this is the basic transform property for scale. And once this comes in here, a lot of keyframe for scale, move it forward by a couple of frames and we'll jump this up. And also bring a position on your keyboard. So hit P. Add a keyframe for that as well, and you'll just need to replace where this is supposed to go. So add that keyframe to the beginning of the first keyframe, go to the scale, and make sure this is going to be exactly where it's supposed to be. And you might just need to re you know adjust it real quick, and then we can bring the scale back down to 100%. And we'll just copy that position keyframe and paste it in there. All right, so this is what we have so far. So we have some nice text animation, and we're continuing to build up on this text. So we have our last title called Titles. And instead of just showing you guys how to animate this individually, which I just showed you how to do some of that text animation, I want to show you this plugin that I use called Animation Composer. So I have this plugin called Animation Composer, which allows you to just apply animation presets within a couple of seconds. And these presets are amazing. Let me just show you how awesome this is. I'll go ahead and drop a link in the description for Animation Composer and for its transition presets. We can go to 2D layer, transform, and we can apply an animation. So here we have a, you can preview the animation. So let's say we want this animation here. So well, we can have this come in from the right. So we grab this preset, we apply it as in. And now that I have applied the transition in two seconds, we have our animation here. So we're able to animate this in two seconds. And if we want to animate all this out in one second, what we can do is grab all of our titles here and we can find a nice way to transition this out. So we can grab, say, this one, apply it as out. So obviously these all come off at the same time. And say if you want to offset these really quick, you go to more tools, go to transition shifter, you can go to out shift transitions, and you can say, hey, we want this to be offset by five frames. So you type that in there, five frames, and you click on do. And now our transition has been offsetted. So boom, you're able to offset your titles that quickly as an out transition instead of doing it all from the start. So, so there's a free download on Animation Composer. Check out the link in the description. And of course, there are presets that you have to purchase separately, but they really make Animation Composer come to life and they save you a ton of time. However, the transition presets are not free and you'll have to buy them separately. They're not expensive at all. The link's in the description, uh, but it definitely saves you a ton of time because it took us about five minutes to animate the two titles at the beginning where we animated the last titles with the transition out, it took us less than a minute. So obviously you can save a ton of time doing this and you can create some great animation. There's over 1000 transition presets that you can buy in each pack and they're absolutely amazing. So go ahead and check out the link in the description to learn more. Thank you to VideoHive.net for sponsoring this video. There are hundreds of animated typography templates just on VideoHive.net right now. Check out my top five favorite typography templates. Those links are in the description of this video and we're looking at them right now. And what's great about typography templates is that if you're doing anything with typography, you can buy one of these templates and they're ready to go. Meaning that you don't have to do any of this work, meaning that somebody's already put in 20 hours worth of work, 20 to 40 hours worth of work may I say, 
and you're gonna be able to get your project done in less than 30 minutes. So that's the benefit of buying templates and also they might produce better work than what you can do. Or if you don't wanna buy templates, I always suggest go ahead and checking out some of the work on Video Hive so you can get your own inspiration and break down what you see in those templates and take what you learned from this tutorial and apply it to your own work. So go ahead and check out the links in the description if you wanna take a closer look at some of my favorite templates. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get back to the video. And then as we jump back into this video, Go ahead and turn on motion blur for your title so you're going to have that nice shifty motion blur there and that looks really great. So hopefully you guys were able to take away a few techniques and are able to see how, well, maybe I could place titles this way. Maybe we can animate it and give it meaning. These are just some concepts I want you to think about when you're creating your titles and instead of doing a standard one line title. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found some useful techniques from it. If you guys did, please be sure to drop a like on the video just because it helps me out tremendously and I know that this video has been helpful. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more After Effects videos. We post two After Effects tutorials every single week on our channel, so keep up with that. And be sure to hit me up on my social media network. Those links are in the description of the video. And always be creating.